All right, so today I'm gonna to show you how to do a two-pass weave vertical up on a T-joint, or really you can apply this to a lot of fillet welds, vertical up progression with MIG. So first off, obviously you're gonna get your plate tacked together, and the manipulation we're gonna do for our first pass is a quick side-to-side, -side, like a zigzag, and this is the pattern you're kind of going to use your big gun to trace across. We're going to go pretty quick. We're not going to waste too much time. And we want to make sure we overlap each pass with the next. So you can see we're going really quick here. We're not taking a lot of time to pause. Otherwise, your weld is going to sag. This is at about 17 volts and 200 wire feed speed. You can turn your wire feed speed down if you want and that will put a little less metal into the puddle and prevent it from sagging. It's kind of a view of how it should look like from the side, how you can position yourself. The second pass, we're gonna actually weave and pause on the side. We're not gonna do that circular motion, that's just showing the puddle growing on each side. And again, we wanna pause and wait until the weld puddle joins the previous one. Otherwise, you're gonna get gaps in the middle of your weld on the toes as well. So here's the pausing motion. You move quickly side to side and then you pause on the side. And my key pause point really is on the toe of my previous weld. And I just wait until that weld joins the previous one. I'm kind of looking below me and that's how I can keep my weld straight and get proper fusion in the weld joint. Again, here's kind of how you're gonna position yourself for this. Get aggressive, kind of an athletic stance. Have your elbow propped on the table. Here's another view. You can see the elbow is on the table and then you slightly just move up. Okay, and we're slightly rotating our wrist just a little bit to get that weave motion. That's kind of what you want it to look like for the final pass there. A quick tip as well to keep your weld toe straight is you can scribe a line. So we're trying to go for about a 3 8 weld size. So I'm using this 3 8 plate to give me a guide. So you can kind of see the idea there. A second manipulation we can do is something called a triangular weave. So for the first pass, it's gonna look kind of like this. We go straight across, then we go up into the root of the joint to get some penetration. And this technique is really good. You get a flat weld profile and it also kind of looks like a sack of dimes appearance, but it's vertical up which can be kind of hard to do. So we got a quarter inch weld size to start. The next movement is almost like a D weave. And so you make this arc very quickly and then we go across a little bit slower to make our actual weld deposit. And this gives a really cool appearance to it as well. So you can see we make a really quick arc across and then we go flat and straight across the weld joint kind of looks something like this. For this weld with the cover pass, I'll generally knock my wire feed speed down a little bit and my voltage down to get a smaller puddle. Down generally around 16 volts and 160. You can go hotter if you want, play with your settings. I just like the control I get. And the speed kind of evens out with the heat input. So the slower you go, we're gonna get a little more heat input and you can get some welds with good fusion. Again, short circuit necessarily is not gonna be used for heavier joints, like half inch plate or thicker. We're mainly gonna be using this on quarter inch. If we're doing vertical passes, maybe three eighths. But anything structural, we wanna be careful about what we use short circuit on. And we gotta test it. You can also use this technique on groove welds or outside corner joints, but give me a thumbs up and comment below what you want to see next.